Welcome to my channel, my name's Tom Pito. Today I'm gonna to take you through a freestanding folding squat rack review. We'll show you all the features of it, give you some positives, negatives, and tell you why you might wanna consider this over some other racks. Let's get into the review. So here in my studio, I've got plasterboard walls or mirrors all around. So I didn't really have an option other than to buy a freestanding one because you're really not recommended to attach the uh, wall mounted racks onto plasterboard walls. Even if you put like a piece of plywood up, it's still not recommended to hold that kind of weight. Having read quite a lot of reviews on how long it took people to put up these racks, they all take quite a long time, if I'm honest, to put together. However, I feel like you don't have to have any prior DIY experience to put one of these up. I certainly don't. However, most people do seem to have to get a builder or a handyman in to help them fit one of the wall mounted ones. So if you're on your own and you don't have anyone handy, again, a freestanding one might be a better option for you. So let's take a quick look at how it folds out. It's really quick to do. It's actually got some little rollers on the base of those feet, which makes it easy to slide out. And I'm pulling some pegs out, which allow the sides to slide. This pull-up bar helps secure it to hold the whole frame steady. And there's a little slot, which it slots into on the top. And then you can twist the peg for the bolt to go in. So let's have a look at some of the features of the rack. So this one's from Muscle Squad. It has an integrated cable system with a top and bottom cable for lat pull down, rows, biceps, triceps. It has a lot of storage built into it. So it has two barbell holders. It also has some little hooks up the backs of some of those posts, which you can put your attachments on. Obviously has the plate holders down the sides and these pegs, which I've hooked some ab slings and rings onto. So really useful to have all that integrated storage into one piece. A couple of other points to consider would be whether you actually want to mount something on the wall because it's more permanent if you attach it to the wall. Uh, you might have to clear up uh, the holes in the wall if you ever want to move house. Um, and it's a lot easier if you've got a freestanding one just to take it apart, move it to a new venue and reset it up. Or it's even easier to resell it as well. Um, so something to consider, how long are you going to be in the venue? So this one came with some bullhorn dip bars. Uh, these are fairly sturdy. You just line it up with whatever hole you want, slide it through and you could put a little pin in the top there. So one thing to consider when you're looking at a rack is does it come with any attachments or does it have any compatible attachments you can buy? And if not, will these holes, they'll tell you what diameter they are. Do they fit attachments from other companies as well? So these feel really sturdy, but they don't move around. As you can see, the rack doesn't really move around either. So the whole thing is pretty good. I think you could do muscle ups on this bar as well. I'd happily do them but my ceiling height's not quite high enough for that. So this rack also came with this. I actually had to email the company to ask what it was and what it was used for. And apparently it's for the lap pull down to stop you lifting off the seat. And it just attaches onto these safety squat bars so that when you're doing a lap pull down, you have a little bit of tension on your thighs. Can be a little bit of a hassle to take on and off but in the grand scheme of things having a lap pull down integrated is such a space saving option that i'd say it's worth the 20 seconds it takes to attach that on i'm just going to quickly run through some exercises that you can do on the rack to show you some ideas and give you some different angle views of it here's a landmine attachment that actually came with this rack and when i'm doing pull-ups on it I find that it doesn't roll around at all. Having the plates on the side probably helps this, but there's no movement in the rack. Uh, the cable is very easy to put it on. It's a plate loaded cable and you can do tricep exercises and bicep work. This rope attachment didn't come, but um, you can get them easily on Amazon. And this bar attachment actually did come with this rack, which is really cool. If you do buy a bar, make sure you get one with a rotating center. If you're not sure what I mean, I'll put a link in the description to one. And obviously classic, it works well as a squat cage also. 
If you do want a bench press as well, you can set them to any height. There's loads of height attachments, especially for the bench press, so the holes get more frequent towards the bottom of those bars. These ab slings didn't come with the rack, but I'll often attach different things to that bar, including gymnast rings, which seem to work well, and are very sturdy also. I'm just showing you how it folds in. It takes the same amount of time as folding out. I fold it in and out every day, so it's quite useful that it's quick. Uh, we have yoga classes and use the studio for other things, so we don't always need the racks folded out. So let's talk about price and what options are out there on the market. So this one that I've got here is from a company called Muscle Squad. They're based in the UK. Unfortunately, I don't think they ship internationally at the moment. Um, they were on the lower end of the price range. It was 800 pounds for this one. It came with all the attachments and from all the options I could see, it was the best value one available to me. Um, I'm very happy with it. It seems commercial enough that it's very sturdy. Um, if you want to get one that's slightly more expensive, um, there's one from Bulldog Gear, which is £1,650, I think, currently. I think it's called their Mammoth Light Folding Rack. Um, that's about $2,200. I don't think they currently ship to US either, but I have got an option for you if you are from the US. Um, the advantage from what I can see of the Bulldog Gear one is that it will fold in slightly closer to the wall. It still has a cable pulley system on it um, but I think there's about an extra 40 centimeters which can come in closer when you look at these racks you do have to account for the fact that there's a cable on the back as well uh, and that will bring it away from the wall slightly more um, so yeah if it needs to be just a little bit closer to the wall and you've got the spare money then the bulldog gear one might be better for you but um, this muscle squad one it was actually half the price and I bought two of them, so it's definitely worth um, for me to go for the uh, slightly uh, better value option. If you're from the US, I did have a look. Um, I don't think Rogue make a freestanding folding rack yet. I'm sure they will come out with one at some point. Um, so the only one or the best option I could see if you're uh, a US uh, based person is, there's one called USA Force or Force USA, the website is, and they do one. It doesn't have a cable attachment. It actually looks super similar to this. If I didn't attach the cable on, which you could do, I didn't actually have to attach the cable onto the back I think it would still work um, it looks like pretty much the same rack other than that and that's six hundred dollars um, so that looks like a pretty good um, budget option as well and it still looks fairly sturdy so check them out Force USA um, I'll link them in the description as well so to summarize, what are the positives and negatives of these folding racks? Well, whichever folding rack you go for, they're obviously space saving, allowing you more space to do other things uh, with your gym or your workout space. Uh, the freestanding rack has the benefit that it's movable. So this rack you see here, I didn't originally have it in that position. I had it somewhere else, but I decided to move it. And obviously, because it wasn't attached to the wall, I was able to do that. Um, however, these are more expensive than the wall mounted ones. They're almost double the price. So if budget something uh, that's important to you, that's worth considering. Um, these are also slightly bigger. So although they are both space saving, any folding rack, these are bigger than the wall mounted one so if you're tight on space you might opt for a wall mounted one uh, however this does have the cable attached to it so if you're looking for some cables I find these really sturdy it gives a really sturdy base for that cable and there's no movement so it gives me almost two machines in one um, these are easier to put together these um, freestanding ones uh, you don't need any power tools to drill into the walls. So if you haven't got any assistance, um, that might even be something you want to consider on that. So overall, a great product, very sturdy, multifunctional. I highly recommend it, especially if you have a smaller space and um, you want to maximize the use of that. Thanks for watching my video. Please do take a quick second to hit the like button. If you enjoyed it, comment with any questions you have about any of these racks. Also make sure you check out the links in the description um, to have a look, have a browse. I'll put them all in there. I'll try and give some US options and some UK options. Also, uh, my channel mainly consists of 
follow along workouts and exercise tutorials. So if you do want some home workout ideas, dumbbell, barbell, kettlebell, calisthenics, then check those out. Um, let me know how you got on with them if you do give them a try. Don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying the content and I'll see you soon.